Hello everybody, I am back, second video of the day. Um, I have a random idea that just came up and I wanted to make a video about it. And it is actually something that is very uh, useful, actually, for speeding up combat encounters in your games. Let's talk about it. We've all been there. Big combat encounter, there's a lot of mobs on the field, there's a lot of people just mindlessly swinging their sword. That's 32 points of damage. Okay, he's got 234 points. What difference does it make? And he's got a regen of 50 per turn. The cleric's in the back there, just casting heal on his fighters, waiting for this inevitable grind to break down. You know, occasionally somebody might get a grapple off, or they might be able to stun or petrify or cause fear on whatever they're fighting. And it kind of just grinds and grinds and grinds. And in the end, the party kind of wishes the combat was over faster. But there is a way to fix this. Or at least a very simple, very, very simple way to fix it. But it also makes the game a heck of a lot more deadly. I think a few of you know what I'm getting at. Some tables do this, some don't. But half the HP, half the HP on everything. I... No, that sounds a bit insane. Half my HP, at level one, I have five hit points. I know, I know, I know, and you're probably gonna die. Hear me out. By halving the HP on everything, fights become far more deadly. A D12 can kill somebody in one turn at level one. And a mob that once had 200, now only has 100 HP. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes and no. It's up to you to decide, but this does speed things up tremendously. A fight that would have otherwise taken a long time, at least 12 rounds can be cut down to six. This sort of method that I'm speaking of is extremely useful, especially when we're talking about hordes. If you are a very horde heavy uh, game master, and you like having lots of people running around, goblins stabbing you in the kneecaps everywhere. This is a great system for you. This way your players feel so much more powerful because with one swing, they can kill a goblin. And it just feels so much more awesome when they're just one hit killing these things and you're just hacking your way, but there's more of them and you keep hacking and hacking and hacking. Great, and then there's that one boss in the background. You're taking a lot of damage as well and he might not have as much HP as he used to, but that's still a lot of HP to you. You're still doing a lot of damage. So you're getting these fights faster done, but it feels just as deadly, just as scary as it did before, if not better. Now, character deaths are gonna happen a lot more often with this system. And for some people, they can't take this, and I get it. Some people uh, like their characters a lot more. They like keeping these characters. But sometimes you want a sort of Dark Souls experience, and this is a great way of adding that little extra flavor of danger and death back into your games. And I kind of like it. I really do. I've done a handful of games like this, and characters do die. They die a lot. Especially when you only have a max hit point of 50 at level 10. And the mob just did finger of death and just dealt 80 points of damage. Yeah, you'd be dead, son. But it, it, it really does add that little Dark Souls-esque feel to it. So, if your game is running slow, double the HP. And if you don't like that idea, double the damage. It really does the same thing one way or another. How do you feel about that? Do you think I'm overdoing it? Do you think I'm being a bit too harsh to the players? Do you have a better system to speed up your combat encounters? Please, put in the comment section below and give me your advice. If you got an idea for one of these videos, please, 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 please send it towards me. My name's been Michael, this is my channel, and I'll be seeing you next time.